In this video, you'll see how to create canaries using Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics. With this feature, you can create different kinds of canaries to continually verify your customer experience. Customizing each canary with alarms, environment variables, and other settings depending on the needs of your organization. Let's start by navigating to CloudWatch Synthetics. Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics Canaries are configurable scripts that continuously monitor your application endpoints and APIs. By using Canaries, you can discover issues with your website before your customers do. You can create several kinds of Canaries, and you can create them in a few different ways. Let's begin with Blueprints. You can use Blueprints to monitor your APIs, check broken links, and more. The GUI Workflow Builder Blueprint, for instance, lets you verify that actions can be taken on your web page. For example, if you have a web page with a login form, the Canary can populate the user and password fields and submit the form to make sure the page is working correctly. In this case, however, we're going to create a Heartbeat Monitoring Canary for our sample pet adoption site. Heartbeat scripts load the specified URL and store a screenshot of the page, an HTTP archive file, and logs of accessed URLs. You can use this information to view detailed performance data about your web pages. We'll enter the URL for our sample pet adoption site. The script editor area of the page displays the canary as a node.js script. CloudWatch Synthetics currently supports runtimes that use node.js for scripts and the Puppeteer framework, and runtimes that use Python for scripting and Selenium WebDriver for the framework. In this case, let's move on without inputting any environment variables. You can run a canary once or on a regular schedule. We'll retain the default settings. We'll also keep the default timeout settings. If you have specific data retention policies, you can change the default settings here to maintain compliance. Under Access Permissions, you can choose whether to create a new Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that's specific to this canary or use an existing role. We'll create a new role. You can allow Synthetics to create CloudWatch alarms for your canary automatically. Let's add an alarm that will notify us via an Amazon Simple Notification Service or Amazon SNS topic if our canary fails two or more times in 15 minutes. If your endpoint is under a virtual private cloud, you can select it here. CloudWatch Synthetics can be integrated with AWS X-Ray and CloudWatch Service Lens service maps. Let's enable the integration and create the canary. Our heartbeat monitoring canary has been successfully created. Next, let's create an API canary. Rather than using the API blueprint, we'll use the inline editor and upload a custom node.js script. We'll specify our Lambda handler, which is required when using the inline editor. As you can see, the script references an environment variable, which allows the same code to be reused for multiple canaries. Instead of modifying the code, we can define the hostname variable in the template. We'll use the same alarm and tracing settings we selected for the Heartbeat Canary. Let's verify the environment variable value for the API Canary we just created. We can see that the environment variable for the host name matches the value we entered. Let's create one more kind of canary, this time using the Canary Recorder blueprint. Note that the recorder is a Google Chrome extension. If you haven't already downloaded the recorder, the CloudWatch Synthetics console provides a download link. We'll use our sample pet adoption site as the endpoint where we want to begin recording. Let's open the URL in a new tab. We'll record some simple site navigation. Now that the plugin is recording, let's navigate to the adoption list, then to perform housekeeping, and finally back to the home page.
Next, we'll stop the recorder and copy the generated Node.js script to our clipboard. Let's go back to CloudWatch to build the canary. We'll paste the Node.js script here. We'll leave the other settings as is and create the canary. The canary was created successfully. You can view details about your canaries and see statistics about their runs from this page, or view metrics in Service Lens and X-Ray if that capability was enabled. You can edit or delete a canary if necessary. Let's delete a canary. Notice that the delete option is grayed out. In order to delete a running canary, we must first stop it. With the canary now in a stopped state, we can delete it. This prompt safeguards your canaries from accidental deletion. You've just seen how to create and delete canaries using Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.